today i have brought you another small video clip about a gemstone called iolite iolite is also named water sapphire cordierite or dichroite the cordierite name used by the geologist when the cordierite mineral is transparent and it has a gem quality then it can be identified as a iolite in gem and jewelry trade the name cordierite is the name for the mineral and that mineral has a gem quality it can be considered as iolite the second name for the iolite is dichroite simply means that two color rock that may be inspired by cordierite pleochroic property but actually if you consider about the pleochroism it is not considered under dichroic it is a trichroic gemstone anyway uh, in the gemstone market it's considered as dichroic and if you haven't any idea about the pleochroism i have uploaded a small video clip about the pleochroism and you can refer them and can easily identify the the phenomena of pleochroism in the gemstone so iolite is one of the strongly pleochroic gem in the world most specimens appear blue to violet in color but can be clear gray or yellow from other directions usually you can see these kind of different colors perpendicular to the c axis iolite has worn for centuries and it's got name from ios a greek word for color of violet so actually iolite has a kind of a bluish tint with a violet so because of that in the greek people may have used that violet color word ios for the iolite apart from that due to its strong pleochroism ancient vikings used iolite for navigation on cloudy days iolite is very affordable and durable and can be used as a substitute for most expensive blue color gemstone such as blue sapphire so if i talk about the physical properties of iolite it belongs to the silicate group with a chemical composition as i have mentioned in here the color is blue to violet luster is vitreous or greasy diaphanity may be transparent to translucent the cleavage may be fair or poor it may have some cleavage planes or sometimes it is very difficult to see the cleavage planes but it has 7 to 7.5 in the most hardness scale and the specific gravity it may vary in between 2.5 to 2.8 and crystal system belongs to the orthorhombic iolite is one of the challenging material to facet because of its extreme pleochroism cutter must examine the stone carefully and should identify the c axis and the top quality color may oriented parallel to the c axis and you can have the table faceted table perpendicular to the c axis that will bring the the beautiful color or the most of the color out of iolite and the most important thing is iolite gemstones are natural and not treated or enhanced because of that the iolite gemstone that you are see in day to day life or in the gemstone markets or in the jewelries are natural and not enhanced by any other method major iolite gem deposits are located in madagascar myanmar sri lanka india and brazil 
so these are the things that i need to talk with you under the physical properties of iolite and i hope to bring you a, another video clip about iolite and show you some of the techniques that we can identify iolite's pilochroism and the available colors and identification methods of iolite using its optical properties